Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video, another day in the sports card world. Hope everyone enjoyed their weekend. We are now in November. Thanksgiving's coming dangerously close, guys. I'm looking forward to that. Eat some uh, some good eats. Some good eats coming up. So, um, But it is Monday right now, guys. So I figured I would drop a new video for you guys because, honestly, who likes Monday? Um, no one around here, so... Um, today's video is going to be pretty cool. We got some cheap slabs that I've picked up over the past couple weeks or so. And then we're going to be testing uh, the dented box theory uh, with, a pack, with a box of Chronicles. As you can see right there, a little dent. Uh, if you're not aware of what the dented box theory is in the hobby, uh, it's pretty much a myth that um, any dented box gets left behind because obviously the cards might be damaged, of course. Uh, but the theory is that dented boxes hold some pretty like a like a, a good card in them. I've had some experience with it back in the mosaic days where I found like the last box of mosaic. It was dented and then it ended up being uh, number number to twenty five Steph Curry mosaic out of in it. So like I said, it's probably just a, a myth, uh, but we're gonna test it out right here. We got a little dented box of Chronicles, so. Uh, if you guys like the video or like my channel, uh, if you don't mind giving me a subscription, uh, we are dangerously close to 370 subscribers. We are at 367 on the Salute Dupes channel. And if you like the video, hit the like button so we can break through that YouTube algorithm and show some love to us smaller channels here on YouTube. With that being said, let's just get into it here. So. Uh, obviously, the first slab is right in front of you. It's just a Jerry Sloan PSA 7. Nothing too crazy about it, but uh, as a Bulls fan, I thought that'd be a pretty cool card to go ahead and grab. It was actually a package deal with the next one that I'm going to show you. And these two were actually bought before the season, I believe. Uh, so this next one is a Wendell Carter PSA 9 Rookie Sparkle. Population 1 on that one. Population 1. And I want to say the total that I bought this and the Jerry Sloan for was about $24, which actually, actually might be paying off right now because Wendell Carter is actually kind of doing his thing down there in uh, Orlando. Not a good team, but they, I mean, they just beat the Jazz yesterday. I think he had like 15 rebounds, so glad to see he's doing well. These next two guys picked up these uh, two Grayson Allen Silver Prism PSA 9s, rookie cards, obviously. And he's been doing a pretty solid job on the Bucks. Uh, these were two separate orders on eBay that I picked these up on. And uh, I also want to say it was ended up being a, a little under 25 bucks as well total for both of these. So if the Bucks continue to do pretty well once they get everyone back, uh, I think Grayson Allen's already becoming kind of a team fixture. So we'll see what we can uh, we can profit off of those guys there. Uh, this next one I picked up for, I believe it was 20 bucks. Uh, just a DeAndre Hunter PSA 9. Mm, nothing major on that one. Uh, I picked this up last time I was in New York. And then last but not least, this gun I picked up yesterday at the local card show. As you can see, it was 20 bucks. Couldn't pass it up. I mean, 20 bucks, uh, Kobe White Gem Mint 10 from Optic. And I really think that's because we haven't seen Kobe White this year. That that's why this is twenty bucks. Um, but should be coming back from his injury soon, so I think that that might have been a solid little investment. I'm also a Kobe White fan, as you guys know, I'm a Bulls fan anyway. So had to pick it up. Had to pick it up. So those are just some cheap slabs that I picked up as of late, guys. And then we can just do this little rip here, test the old dented box theory and see what happens now as mentioned in the last Chronicles video I'm not like a huge fan of draft pick stuff but the Chronicles is actually a pretty fun rip all right so we are already already off to a, a bad start here because uh, we're supposed to have five packs and we got four of them <laughs> so, um, that's, I, I don't know what to say about that one. 
we'll just put this right there. All right, so dented box theory continues here. What, what do we got? All right, we got Cade Cunningham for our first card here, which isn't bad. Jalen Suggs, there we go. Tree Man. Josh Christopher and another Jalen Suggs. Okay. Why did we only get four packs? Jonathan Kaminga. Isaiah Jackson. Franz Wagner. Actually a pretty big fan of this kid. I uh, watched a couple of those Orlando games. Another Trey Mann. And Moses Moody. Okay. Still doesn't answer our question as to why we only got four packs and was supposed to be a five pack box here. Io. Uh, Keon Johnson. Luca Garza. Keon Johnson again. And a little Kate Cunningham. Okay. All right, last pack, I guess, here. Maybe there's something in it. <clears throat> All right, uh, Corey Respert. Moses Moody. Jaden Springer. Trey Mann and other Franz Wagner. Okay, no autos or anything in there, guys. Some little decent rookies. I guess... This video might contribute to the dented box theory because we only got um, four out of the five packs. So uh, the dented box theory, uh, I guess, continues on with, with this rip. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the rip. I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for all the support. Just a quick little video here for you for sure um, on this Monday. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you for the support. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.